something that I commonly hear from students that uh, what if the article is not, you know, published? What can be done? So there are several journals out there and your article definitely stands a chance of publication in one of these journals. Second thing that I've commonly heard from students is that you always have to pay for publication. No, it is not so. You have to find appropriate journals for your budgets. Most of the journals who, uh, you know, with charge in like $2,000, $3,000, they are looking for research studies which get funding. And these fundings can also actually cover up the publication fees. So these are the most common things that students have the query. Now coming to the topic of how to select a journal, I would say there are three ways in which a journal can be selected. First is uh, there is a Shimago ranking of journals. You can go to go on that website. You can type in the name of your, you know, your specialty and a list of journals come there. So on, you can select your journals from there. You have to obviously verify and check about their indexation, their impact factor, and some more things to make sure that it is a genuine journal. Secondly, uh, the way of how a journal can be selected is that, so there are many different publication houses. Okay, let's say Elsevier, Willy, Taylor and Francis, Springer. So these are different publication houses and they, uh, you know, actually publish hundreds of journals. So each of them have a search uh, engine where you can select a journal based on your specialty, based on your abstract. So again, once the list of journals is there, you have to actually go and check uh, the impact factor, the indexing of each and every journal. So these are the two ways. And the third way in which, uh, you know, I usually select my journals is that, and which is actually, most of them are actually free of cost as well. Uh, so each and every country will have an association of a particular uh, speciality. Let's say my speciality, dermatology. So there is an Indian Association of Dermatology, Venerology, and Leprology, which is known as IADBL. So affiliated to a society, there will always be a journal. Like we have IJDBL, Indian Journal of Dermatology, Venerology, and Leprosy. Also, there are two more journals like uh, IJD, IDOJ. I'm just telling short forms. So similarly, for each and every country, let's say Nepal, you can say Bangladesh, you can say Sri Lanka, Australia, UK, America, Japan, so many countries are there. All of them have a national association and also associations of each and every speciality and subspeciality. So you can actually go there and search for those journals. But again, as I said, make sure uh, to verify the indexation. Uh, because it can vary. It may not always be PubMed indexed. Sometimes they are Scopus, sometimes they are Web of Science only, sometimes they are all three of them. And since uh, these journals get all their fundings from these associations, they are mostly free of cost. So these are the three ways in which you can actually search a journal, write journal for publication. Again, these journals, some of them, not all, they do display their metrics. Uh, what is metrics is that the time for communicating the first decision about your article, uh, also about how many articles do they accept percentage-wise, do they accept 30% of articles, do they accept 10% of articles, so on. Uh, and also they tell about the peer review time and time for publication after acceptance. So you have to check for all these things uh, before submitting your article into a journal. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that video provided valuable insights for your journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And check out our website for details on how we can guide you to a successful match.